know what would be amazing? Like day one, Elon gets the company. It converts into a blockchain and then Twitter remo removes itself from any moderation capabilities. It becomes a totally decentralized networking tool. So it's just like, we can't ban anybody anymore. It probably or, he, won't. or he just buys it and deletes it for the benefit of the world. He's <laughs> yeah. like, screw it, off. <laughs> could, he, could he buy it and then like free, like free soft, make all yeah. the code free? Well, he should and like we should get, we, but something. we need the version history so that we can see yeah. all the algorithm changes that they made punishing people over the years. That's, yeah. Those are the skeletons yeah. that are in the closet because every code change in Git there's a version history so you can see, oh, they started punishing this type of content on this date in, you know, the election season. And, you know, that that data exists and like it needs to be audited. Can they scrub version histories? Not easily. But they can. Um, I don't I think that would be unlikely. I think that if he if he open sources the code, he said he was going to open source it. So hopefully he does. If so you were, so, so yeah. real, real quick, real quick. This is important. If Elon Musk does finalize his buy to this company, he's going to have logs showing that Twitter was targeting conservatives oh, yeah. or people on the right. Yes. I th it's funny because uh, they it's the weirdest thing. Gizmodo publishes the story, Facebook censoring conservative news outlets. I then go, hey, everybody. Wow, that's crazy. Look, Facebook censoring. Then I get smeared as pushing conspiracy theories for believing what Gizmodo publishes. It's going to be very vindicating for everybody if Elon Musk does do this. So I certainly hope he does. But I have to wonder as well. I, I think what's going to come out of Twi Twitter's closet is going to be more than skeletons. There's going to be some real dark stuff. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to, we'll probably see internal communications of them defending child abusers and explaining why this, you know what I mean? Well, this is going to get complicated because Elon is going to have a tough decision to make because he now is responsible for this company and the financial success of this. This is why he wants to take it private, which makes sense because he will have a fiduciary duty to potentially not share a lot of the skeletons, right. which could get dicey. So Bill, if I could ask you, you have a lot of history with social media, obviously with minds. If you were Elon Musk, what would you do right now? I mean, I think he's doing what he can. I think he's he, he, like, the, he's, he's trying not he, to he, buy it. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, well, but the, let's say the, the the acquisition finally goes through. You have Twitter. What would you do if you were Elon with Twitter? You Im immediately open source all the code. You immediately make all the messages end to end encrypted, so thousands of Twitter employees can't <laughs> read our messages. Yeah, it's just like so absurd. Did, didn't Facebook make an uh, edit and end encryption? No, WhatsApp or, says they did. No, or no, the Saudi they, government can't read protesters' private DMs and messages of human rights activists like they much, did before hold, hold through on. Twitter. I got a question. Do you think that Twitter receives f uh, money from governments to allow them backdoors? I think that. It is, I, I don't know. I, Verizon I, does, AT&T right, does. Right, so, yeah. so I think there's a strong possibility that one of the reasons Elon may have backed out is he may have gone to Twitter and says, I want to buy the company. And they went, here are the lucrative contracts keeping the company afloat that you can never reveal because governments are paying for back doors and you can't reveal those. And then Elon went, crap. It might not it's just possible. be contracts. It might be just threats and, and duress of the government saying, we're going to shut you down or we're going to make sure you can't do business if you don't do what you want well, us to do. Well, that's 100% true. And then, yeah. and then like 15 years ago, we were reporting on specific stories of the NSA, of the federal government having their own office spaces inside of the headquarters of Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile, the major major cell phone providers in this country had entire floors dedicated to the federal government that was spying and watching on everyone. What, what, what's That's Twitter involved in? What's, yeah, what's it's, Twitter involved in? It's like, it's like that movie, The Santa Claus with Tim Allen, how like being Santa is actually a curse. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Like Santa's on his roof and then Tim Allen kills the guy and then steals his clothes and for some reason puts him on and then becomes Santa mm. and loses his family. And then it's like a mind mm. virus that makes him happy about it, right? Now, I'm, and, and it is, I am some, I'm somewhat being cute, but know what I mean is Elon Musk or anybody, it, it feels like he goes to Twitter and they're like, no, 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 don't buy this company, don't buy this company. And then finally they're like, okay, buy the company. And now they're looking at this like, we are going to get paid to leave and not have to be involved in this behind the scenes national security mm -hmm. BS. Mm -hmm. I, I would bet, I, if, 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 here's, here's the way I'll, I'll play it. If I went to a casino, and I saw blackjack, roulette, and do you think the, nat the, the, the U.S. government has national security letters sent to Twitter demanding backdoors? I would put all my money on that. I'm not playing into the game because that's a sure shot. 
Elon Musk comes in, asks them like, okay, show me corporate documents. And he's got an NDA. And not only that, but a national security letter with a gag order from the government. And he went, crap. Mm -hmm. And they're like, you can't say anything about it. You have to buy it. And if and when you do buy it, you won't be able to do anything you want to do because they will force you to give them the back doors. And we already saw the White House going to Facebook and saying, ban these people. There is a zero percent chance they, they did not do that with Twitter. But and it, Elon probably saw that. Yeah, it's not just a back door to the information. I think it's even more than that. I think it's deciding who gets censored, deciding mm -hmm. which voices get downranked in the algorithm. I think the federal government is way more involved, uh, not just with, of course, the intelligence agencies helping give a lot of these big tech social media companies their start, but but what do you think of this running your own social media network? What's the possibility of what me and Tim are talking about? Yeah, very likely. I mean, well, we saw the Alex Berenson, all this, these discovery documents came out recently between Twitter and the White House where Alex Berenson got banned from Twitter and sued them. Exactly. It's the Slack conversation of the Twitter employees saying, oh, you know, I forget the guy's name at the White House said, why is Alex Berenson still on the platform? So to amend my earlier statement, when I said there's a zero percent chance, no, actually the evidence already been released by Alex Berenson. Yeah. Yeah. And then I, the, 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 the thing I was pointing to is when mm -hmm. they were talking about Instagram, I think, when the White House was like, hey, this one's not ours. Can you do something about it? And it was the Anthony Fauci parody. So we know the government, they're doing the wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Yeah. And I think worse yes. than that, obviously. But I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if, say the Saudis, they go to Twitter and say, how much will it cost to get access to your, to your back end, to, your, to, to get back doors? Twitter needs money. I think it's possible for Elon to switch past, but he's going to have to start playing hardball with major countries and risking Twitter getting banned in those yep. countries if he doesn't play ball. You know, it's it's a marketing dream for a com you know SpaceX and Tesla to have Twitter as a you know marketing engine for those companies. So you know it makes a lot of sense for Elon to it's be. A, it's a question you know. of, in order to do this, Elon has to get banks to back it. Money has to come from somewhere, and no one is willing to pay full the full price to take the platform and then just convert it into a blockchain, open source, decentralized network. Yeah. If that were to happen. You can't ban anybody ever again. Yep. They, they can coexist, though. Like, you can have a centralized infrastructure and a decentralized infrastructure running in parallel. We actually just integrated with a, a new network called NOSTER, which stands for Notes and Other Stuff Transmitted by Relay. It is a, there's relays all over the world. Everybody has a crypto key pair that we don't have access to as mines. That's your identity. You can bring your followers and your content and log into other apps. You can leave, you can leave us. It's not a blockchain, but it's a distributed system. So, you know, there's and there's other projects out there that are like this. You've got the Fediverse, you've got ActivityPub, you've got uh, Farcaster is the new one. You've got Planetary, you've got S Secure Scuttlebutt. There's all these protocols that are like in the mix and Twitter can integrate and Facebook and all Rumble, other networks. I'm, I'm trying to we're going to talk with them about integrating like we can all join these Rumble. open protocols. Yeah, yeah. We, we can get all of the alternative tech sites yeah. to join as well so we're all participating but that doesn't mean you have to abandon the existing infrastructure as well they can run in parallel and elon did express interest in working with rumble uh so i think that also is is giving a lot of people optimism but but as we're talking about here twitter is a major powerhouse twitter is is a vector of influence that a lot of powerful governments need and want in their fingertips and it would be foolish to think that their fingertips and fingers and hands aren't already in this larger influence uh that, that twitter and big tech social media has just uh in 2019 there was an ex-twitter employee that was found guilty for spying for the saudi mm -hmm. government specifically going through private messages going after dissidents of the saudi empire and sharing that information directly with mohammed bin salman mm -hmm. so so again that's just one example twitter's of revenue government model is com Twitter's addicted to surveillance advertising, just like Facebook. And so Elon needs to rip that out. You know, Elon knows how to make money. He knows how to make people, people pay like, you know, 50 to 100K for a car. Like he has some of the most profitable, you know, money making machines in the world. He can figure out how to make Twitter way more profitable without doing all the nonsense. I, it is possible. Yeah, you do something like super mines. Yeah. Where you're like, you could send somebody uh, an offer and 
then they can accept the offer to respond. So back to back to the question because we cut you off really quickly. Nice one. You were Elon. We'll get back to this. <laughs> yeah, let's talk more about these. You you were Elon. Ian, Ian, feel free to jump in on this. If you're Elon as well, you have Twitter. What do you do? That's my question. You said he open source everything. Yeah. Do you? So would that reinstate be like, everybody? Obviously. W- when you say open source, you mean a GPL three like a free like a le- copy other, left there, license. There's, yeah, there's multiple licenses that that could work. I hope that he actually does it because I remember when all those news came out about oh Tesla's open sourcing their batteries. Remember? Yeah, that? yeah, yeah. That was not real <laughs> that was that he he just decided not to be a patent troll he decided to sort of open the patent so he wasn't going to go around suing other competitors in the general space but like the code of you know the software running on tesla's the battery blueprints none of that is is open source yeah so the, the difference between a lot of the cars is just the software yeah that you're paying for that's not open source I'm yeah sorry, the, the same software that is running the ai on on the new um you know tesla bots is the same is, the, is what's running in the car it's the same system i got an idea so we're talking to this uh this uh, fabricator metal fabricator guy about building a one-of-a-kind unique electric car we should do it with mines. It should be powered by mines. Mm. So like your your digital console is like a mines console. Oh yeah, because you need an operating system right. and, and an app within yeah. the car. So let's the car. do it. Ooh, like, yeah. So uh, we can do it really, we, we were talking, we can make like a really cheap electric car. And I was like, as a gag, we have like a 2006 Cobalt with 230,000 miles on it. And I was like, yeah, let, let's do that and not fix anything and be like, boom, one of a kind. Uh, or we could actually make a really cool car like yeah. actually works and everything we should have it like integrate with mines let's do it i i saw some there's some, some amazing like refurbishing companies that can take like any car and just make an electric car like there's this yeah. one uh page on uh i forget it's it's they take volkswagen specifically and they'll make it any volkswagen electric from any period of time I, i'm gonna make the flintstone car and beat all of you guys including tesla when the emp goes off and nuclear armageddon happens but will you run no barefoot? no no <laughs> like the funny thing with the flintstones car is like pedals exist we've discovered that quite a bit uh, quite a long time ago yeah so. but it doesn't look as funny in the cartoons when you're pedaling with your you ever, feet you on ever, the floor you ever see those cars where there's there's two sets of pedals in the front and the back and everyone in the car is pedaling and it's going there you go, man. That's hey, what we're gonna do. When there, you, oh, what were you gonna say? I was just gonna say that I did ask. Uh, we we sent a message to Elon asking him this question. I don't know if if he'll answer it, but there needs to be a Tesla that is not subject to just getting shut down from Tesla HQ, like right, you're talking yeah. about. Like like I could see him getting behind that, like a Tesla that's sovereign and like the software is running locally, so that. It's just not like sketchy dystopian possibility. But do you, you know that um, I'm not sure, Luke, if you know this. Some of them have cameras pointing mm-hmm. at you, the driver, and if you aren't paying attention or something, it alerts you and it records that. It uses it against you. Mm. That is nightmarish. It has dystopian. that history too. Yeah. Yeah. Because I because uh, I saw in the console of the Model S, there's a camera, and I was like, "Is that?" I, I googled it. I'm like, "Is that, uh, that's cool?" Like because you know Uber drivers, for instance, they turn cameras on to film their passengers and I'm like, that could be helpful if there's a car accident, if you're side swept or something, you have no access to that camera. It is for them to spy on you as you drive, mm. creepy. So there's no, obviously you can't log into your Tesla account and check out, yeah, like what data is in maybe your I'm Tesla wrong, account? Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. I doubt that they give you access to all the, the footage of But you yourself. think No, 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 so the side cameras, you can yeah. like, oh yeah? So I can pull up my phone right now and look at my car in the garage, the Model 3. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and oh, you, nice. Yeah, that's really cool, but, like, but there's an internal camera and I'm like, what is that all about? Yeah, the CIA has access to all of it live <laughs> as it's going on, uh, most likely, uh, yep. uh, without, a, without a doubt. The NSA. Yeah, it, it, there's no way that they don't. So, you know, I, if, I, you know, I would automatically take up that camera as fast as I can. Uh, but I heard some car manufacturers take away your ability to do self-driving if you cover up that camera because the cameras are focused on your eyes to make sure that your eyes are focused on the road. And if your eyes and hands aren't focused on, on the road and the wheel, they stop automatic driving and make you drive instead of having the car drive you. You guys know that basically like all new cars are self-driving. So Tesla has full self-driving capability only after your car has driven on the highway on autopilot for 100 miles, you have a high safety score and they approve you. So my Model 3 apparently just got recently, like, congratulations, it's now entitled to full self-driving. And that's where the car will actually stop at the stop sign, check, and then slowly turn right. And the steering wheel is spinning by itself. But most of them, when people think of like, oh, the Teslas can drive themselves. And then you get in the Tesla for the first time and you're like autopilot. And you're like, wow, all it does is just the steering wheel moves a little bit left and right on the highway. That's it. It'll speed up, slow down. 
And then I, so when I first saw that, when I got the Model 3, I was like, whoa, this is crazy. I'm like, I'm on the highway and like it's moving itself. Then I got a, then I got a Honda. It's got the same thing. Hon, modern Honda has the exact hmm. same thing. No difference. It's, it's uh, auto steer and cruise control. So I'm on the highway and I'm like, oh. That's thought, what they call it, auto steer? It's called something like lane correction or something like that. Mm. I don't know. But it's, it's it, so the Honda can't activate a full self-drive like the Tesla can, but Teslas don't come with that anyway. You have to earn a special pilot, you know, a beta or something. Could Honda run a self-driving upgrade? Probably. Remotely? I have to imagine if they can drive themselves on the highway, they can mm -hmm. drive themselves in, in, the, in the streets. So I don't know. I think the Teslas don't use sonar anymore or radar or something like that. And it switched to just camera. And I noticed this because I think when they switched it, it got way worse. It like doesn't understand what's going on anymore. And I, I wonder why maybe statistically the radar or sonar or whatever it was was worse. And now like cameras are better. But then if you get like schmutz on the, on the camera or something, then it just turns off on you. I was driving in the rain and I have it on, on self-drive autopilot on the highway and it's and I'm going 70 miles an hour and it's making a turn and then we get close to a semi and it goes boom boom and just turns off and I'm like what the like that's scary mm -hmm. you keep your hands on the wheel the, the whole time but it, when so you're going with it when it stops just like whoa this you self drive just it, it sounds tragedy waiting to happen man that people they encourage you to take your hands off the wheel how is that going to make you more attentive no, no, to no, the no, road? No, 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 no. They can't don't. do that. Oh, they, okay. you have to have so they want you to be sitting there like a zombie, but still somehow be more, like you're going to become less attentive to what's going on if you're not actually Absolutely. supposed to be attending to it. How can that be good? Thanks for checking out this segment from the TimCast IRL podcast. But if you want to check out the full show live, tune in Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. And if you want more special access content, head over to TimCast.com and become a member. Your membership helps sustain this company, keep our journalists employed, makes this show happen, and you will get access to exclusive members-only segments of the TimCast IRL podcast. And there's a massive library to check out. So again, go to TimCast.com or tune in Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. And we'll see you all there.